it's 2023, you're an existing Tesla Model Y or Model 3 owner, or you're a brand new Model 3 or Model Y owner. But today we're gonna go over every single accessory inside of my Tesla Model Y. And we're gonna jump right in and start out with brand new accessories from a company called Hello Black. So first up, we got the cup holder from Hello Black. Now, there are tons of cup holders on the market. And when Hello Black sent this out to me, I was like, it's a cup holder. But all of their accessories are just, I just love the way that they're crafted. All the way down to the packaging, all the way up into all the small details that they have on every accessory. So with the cup holder, they even have this little cards, card cutout. So when the cup holder is placed down in the slot, you actually can put your Tesla key card or whatever other card you want in that little slot, um, which I think it's super, super cool. Um, everything that they make is food grade. So this stuff is of high quality. Um, it's beautiful and I think it's great. Something that you can add to your Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model Y. And up next from Hello Black, we also have the center console tray. Now this one, like I said before about the cup holder tray, there's a dime a dozen, but the one thing I really love most is this. This is a little sunglasses cutout mount. I have like 10 pairs of sunglasses, but this little notch right there, oh my God, it's game changer. I love it. Obviously it has all its other little slots for coins and other things you want. And it's actually held together. It had silicone, it's a two piece. It had silicone and then this hard plastic. So when it's inside, it's nice and firm. Uh, it's gonna move back and forth just like any other center console tray would. But uh, this is a center console tray from Hello Black. And last but definitely not least from Hello Black, we have two different versions of foot pedals. Now in your Model 3 or Model Y, I'll say long range and standard range, you get a basic, simple foot pedal and brake pedal. Um, it's super basic, nothing exciting. If you have a performance, you get somewhat better pedals for your brake and your foot pedal. But these ones are a lot more stylistic uh, they have the same functionality, obviously, but they're way more stylistic and they just add customization to your Tesla. And I think that these two are something that are really great. I actually held a poll over on Instagram on which model of foot pedal should I actually install in the car. And as you can see, I went with the on and off version. I just think they look better. Um, they just look personalized. Like I've never seen that in anyone's car. So I'll be rocking those and maybe I'll give away the other ones. I don't know. Follow us on Instagram, maybe find out. All right, so now I'm gonna move over to floor mats. Floor mats are something that are always hyped and talked about the most about Teslas, at least in my opinion, for Model 3, Model Y. When you get your Tesla, they don't come with floor mats that are of any good use at least. So we have the last fit floor mats in the front seat, in the rear, and also in the trunk. We have a trunk liner that covers the whole bed of the truck. Um, these floor mats are all weather floor mats. I've actually taken them up into the mountains here in SoCal, so they've endured snow, salt, sand, just day to day getting in and out, and they operate beautifully. I absolutely love them. We actually have a full dedicated video to these floor mats, so you guys can click the link above and watch that one right now. Now I'm gonna move over to the hub of the car which is the center screen. The center screen is literally the life of the car. It's the only screen in the car. So why not protect it with a screen protector from Spigen? This screen protector you can pick up on Amazon. Super convenient. They come in two different versions. You can get the clear version or you can get the matte version. We opted for the clear. I like what the clear looks like. The matte looks dope too, but I prefer not to reduce the visibility of the screen and the quality of the screen. So we went with the clear model. Both of those are linked down below. Get them today. And also for the screen, I also have a screen cover. So when I get in and out of the car, sometimes I just wanna protect it from the heat, protect it from the elements. I think it's just a small little thing that I just like to have for my car. Cover up the screen, just like I would cover up any other of my electronics. Something that's not necessarily needed, but it's definitely something that's appreciated. And to bring the whole thing home with the screen, we actually just installed this on our car not too long ago. It's the hand show swivel mount. Now this swivel mount doesn't just go left and right, but also goes up and down and left and right. I love this modification. It's honestly probably my favorite modification that I've done on the interior of the car. I freaking love it. It's awesome. We also have a fully dedicated video to that card above. And your Tesla Model 3 or Tesla Model Y, you have a few options to charge your phone, charge your devices. You have the pads down here where you can put your iPhones or your Androids. 
and charge them wirelessly. We have two USB-C ports in the center console where you can charge there, charge there as well. And we also have two USB-C ports in the back. And with that, we went ahead and got the Tamai fast charger. One, I like these because they look like Tesla like superchargers. I think that's kind of dope, but they're fast chargers. So this is something that Dulce uses all the time, all the time, because her phone is always dead or always about to die. And she has to be on her phone while we're doing road trips as well. So that thing is awesome. I love it. Um, when my phone dies, I need to use it sometime too. So I can't throw it all on her. But uh, yeah, I think it's a great charger. Well worth the money, link down below. Coming down over to the center console tray here, we have the Hancho carbon fiber center console cover. Now this is real carbon fiber that is placed over the center console. I used to have a wrap over this, but I wanted to opt for something real and something a little bit more high, qu high quality that would last over the time of, the, of me owning the vehicle. Uh, so this was the perfect fit. I love what it looks like. Absolutely love what it looks like. Like I said, it's real carbon fiber. Um, I also have a dedicated video to this. You guys can watch that after this video and the card is linked above. Over here in the armrest, we have the armrest tray from Jawa. Just like every other company, there's a dime a dozen of armrest trays. This one's from Jawa. It's nothing crazy, but it's the one I'm rocking. I love it better than the OEM one. I don't think it comes with, with one. I really don't remember, but this is the one I'm rocking. Um, it's great. I love it. No complaints. Um, it's an armrest tray. You can put your coins, your cards. I leave my business cards, uh, things of that nature. It's an armrest tray and uh, yeah, grab one. <laughs> this next one from Jawa is also probably one of my favorite accessories as well. It's a power hub from Jawa that also comes with a light included. So this power hub has three USB-A ports and two USB-C ports and also has a power button that illuminates the inside of your central console, which I love because this car without, if you're, if you're a Model 3 or Model Y owner, you know this car is dark as hell at night. So this little light on the hub, not only does it function as a place to charge multiple devices, but the light comes in handy, comes in super, super clutch at nighttime when I need to find things uh, it down in this, in this deep center console area. So I absolutely love that grab that today as well. So this next one is also one of my favorite ones and it brings the life and it brings the vibe into the car. And these are my RGB lights from RPM Tesla. Now these lights are a little different than the ones that I typically see on people's cars, but these ones are plug and play. So they plug up right here in the front uh, footwell of the driver and the passenger side. They're RGB. Um, they come with a little remote so I can light them up with whatever color I want. I have a full dedicated video to that as well. But since owning the car, I've also added rear lights. So I was able to connect the rear lights to the lights up in the front. So now I have lighting in the rear of my car. Also RGB that I can make whatever color I want. This is something I super love. I love so much because it just brightens up the car. Like I said, this car is dark and my car is all black but it just adds some style. I can add some life. I can add some, some energy in here just by changing it up. If I want to make it red, I can make it red. If I want it green or blue or gold, whatever, I can make it. And I absolutely love that. Again, that's from RPM Tesla and that's linked down below. This is crazy. We have the dashboard, not a dashboard cover or dashboard wrap. So we have a OEM replacement dashboard that is carbon fiber from Fusion Motorsports. So the cool thing about this one, this was an actually a OEM replacement. I have a full dedicated video to that card above and I took out the original dashboard of the car and put in this one from Fusion Motorsports. Like I said, this is real carbon fiber and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I have a full dedicated video to that, but it's also linked down below. I also have a discount code, so make sure you guys check that one out. Next up on the list is the table from Top Fit. This is something that's really convenient when it comes to road trips. Um, when you're eating in the car or just doing some work in the car, this thing comes in clutch. You just put it right here on the side of the door and on the armrest or on the, yeah, on the armrest and you just have a table in front of you, which is awesome. I have a full dedicated video to that card above. And also from Tamai, we have under the seat storage. I don't know the technical term or name for it, but I call it under seat storage. Now these things are super dope because I like to carry film gear that I'm filming the stuff with the video, like little tripods and 
little knickknacks I need to use to mount my camera and my mics. And I like to keep them right underneath the seat so I don't have to take them in and out of the house. You can use them for other things like putting water bottles or putting uh, tools or whatever you may need to leave in your vehicle. And I have them for the driver's side as well as the passenger. And I think they're super, super convenient. And um, I also keep things to clean the car underneath there. So that's probably the best and the biggest thing I keep down there. And uh, yeah, link in the below for that as well. And while we're in the same vein of storage, we also have door storage in each of the four doors of the car. Um, I keep it more as like a storage slash like little trash bin where I can put like wrappers and things on road trips, whether it's food wrappers or cans, whatever. Um, but you can take this whole thing out of the, of the door and just dump it out. And I have that here for the driver, passenger, and the two rear doors as well. So they definitely come in handy on longer trips where you're not throwing things out as often. Then you just wanna put some trash away or you wanna put a water bottle or a can, whatever the case may be. Um, these things are great. And they also just protect that lower part of the door from scratches from uh, all the things you're putting in there. So yeah, link is in the description for those as well. Next up on the list is another means of storage, something that I've actually never used. In our last video, we talked about the hidden compartment here in the armrest. And I swear to you, after 10 months of having this Tesla, I've honestly used it twice. But I know people that like to put things in there and they, they use it frequently. I bought it because I thought I would need it, thought I would use it. I've used it twice. But it's something you may use, so a link is in the description for that as well. Up next on the list, we have the Basus car vacuum. This thing is something I bought during Amazon Prime Week or Prime Day, and I absolutely love this thing. I'm kind of a neat freak, clean freak for my car, and uh, this is something I keep down here underneath the seat, like I was saying before, uh, with the Tamai under the seat storage. And it's perfect, like it's a vacuum cleaner. I don't wanna turn it on, but it, it also works as a flashlight, and it also works as a blower. It comes with a few uh, accessories that you add on to it. So if you have dust or dirt, um, you put something on there, you put something on there and you can blow things out and uh, keep your car clean. I think this thing goes for about a hundred bucks on Amazon, but it's linked down below. I feel like people don't take advantage of all the cool scents that you can make your car smell like, but uh, we're rocking Daily Lab over here. This Daily Lab air freshener has been kind of a game changer. I absolutely love it. Uh, we have a full dedicated video for that as well. It's linked up above. Um, but I love this because I put this air freshener in the car, I want to say about four months ago, and I'm still rocking the first air freshener they gave us. I still have a box of four. Four months and I'm still on the first one and the car still smells great. If that isn't good enough for you guys, I don't know what is. It is a premium product, but I absolutely, I love it. I love what it looks like on the dash. And uh, like I said, I have a full dedicated, it's a cinematic video. So make sure you guys go check that out. Again, it is linked up in the card above. Up next, we got a AirPods charger mount. As you guys know, down here on the charger pad, it's made for phones. But if you wanna put AirPods, it just doesn't charge, it doesn't work. But with this thing, it actually lifts your AirPod just enough that it sits right in the middle of the pad where you can now charge your AirPods. I wear AirPods to the gym, so I always have them on me. And sometimes, you know, they're dead or they're dying. And it's perfect that I can just get that last minute charge uh, either with this or even with the Tamai fast charger. Um, but if you just want it to sit there on the charger, this is a perfect and convenient way to charge your Apple AirPods. Link is in the description for those as well. And for the interior, the last but certainly not least is my Tesla water bottle. I absolutely love this thing. It was actually a gift for me when I first got my car last year from my boy. And uh, I just love it. It's a water bottle, but it's just, it's Tesla. And that's all, it's Tesla. You actually can get this on the Tesla app, uh, maybe even the website, I don't know. Like I said, it was a gift. But uh, I absolutely love this thing. It's always in the car with me. And yeah, get yourself a Tesla water bottle. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump on the exterior of the car. Now for the exterior of the car, I gotta start from the bottom up and I gotta show off my gold calipers. Now this is a modification more than an accessory, but I have to show it off because I've never been able to show it off on the channel. And uh, this is probably, <laughs> It's probably one of the most over the top things I've ever done. I painted them gold 
and put Tesla written in black on them. Uh, I absolutely love what these look like. Uh, they're just dope to me. They're just so sick. The guys that wrapped my car, also the guys that went ahead and painted my calipers for me. Also, just to jump right over to that, you guys can see that my car is wrapped. It is wrapped in dead matte black. People get it confused, it's not matte black or satin black, it is dead matte black. It's actually a really big difference. Dead matte black is a lot more, uh, it's a lot easier to maintain and to clean and to manage than satin black. Uh, but yeah, I have a full dedicated video for my wrap that is linked up in the card above. But yeah, those two things, my car is wrapped in dead matte black and my calipers are painted gold. And to go along with the whole theme of my car being blacked out, if that hasn't been obvious yet, uh, I went ahead and hyper dipped my Tesla emblems. Plasti dip is more of the common term for it, but hyper dip is more of a, it's a stronger plasti dip basically. So I basically went ahead and just sprayed over my car with hyper dip and I just wiped away all the access, let it dry for a few hours and boom, now my Tesla emblems are blacked out. And I think it looks so much better than having the chrome. Yeah, hyper dip on the Tesla emblems. It's the way to go. Next up, we have the snap plate license plate holder. Here in California, it's technically the law to have a front license plate. And, but I think it looks so bad in front of a Tesla because the front of a Tesla just looks nice without having it, but it's not worth the ticket in my eyes. So I went ahead and grabbed the snap plate because the cool thing about the snap plate is you can literally snap it on and snap it off. So when I want to take cool pictures, and I don't wanna have the license plate on, I can literally just snap it off, take the pics, and then put it right back on. And it's super convenient, super easy. Uh, snap plate is the name of the product and it is linked down below. Back down by the wheels, we've got a premium mud flaps. Now I went ahead and only installed the ones on the front. The ones on the back, I just didn't opt in to install. I just threw them away. I just wanted the ones on the front. But I think it's really good that you get mud flaps for your car because especially if you have a Model Y, because the way that the car is built, it's kind of built like this. So if you're driving and you're kicking up rocks or debris, it's just gonna hit that back panel because the car, like I said, is built like this. This baby got hips. So go ahead and get you some mud flaps and put them on your Tesla Model 3 or your Tesla Model Y. So let's talk about the tint on the car. I have my windshield tinted, which I have a full dedicated video for, but the windshield is 50%. My two front windows, they are at 20%, and my two rear and the trunk, they're at 5%, basically limo tint. Uh, I also have the ceiling or the, the moon roof tinted. I can't remember what percentage, but like I said, I have a full dedicated video to the tint of my car, and that is in the card above. And staying on the topic of tint, the guys that also wrapped my vehicle and also did the paint for my calipers, they smoked out my headlights and my taillights. I just think it looks better, especially with my all black theme and my murdered out theme of my Model Y. So I had to get these things smoked. Um, it just it just looks better. There's no true functionality. It's more for aesthetics. And like I said, I just think it looks so much better. And uh, you can't have a murdered out car if your headlights and taillights aren't smoked. So that's what I went there. Next up, we got door lock protectors. This is something I'm not sure if it actually has any true functionality, but I went with it when I first got my car and they've been on the car since then. So I just know that when you open and close the door, that is some type of wear and tear uh, over the years. So this is something that should alleviate that. Um, you can catch those over on Amazon and that's linked down below. And staying on the topic of doors and door handles and doors, uh, we have some PPF door handles from Stratnum Designs. Now this is something I just added to the car about a month ago, and these are customized PPF door handles. So when I mean by customized, I actually was able to put words and text and, and emblems that I wanted onto my door handles, but it's on a PPF slip that is on my door handles. Now, not only does it add protection, but it is another level of a custom functionality of my Tesla. I think it looks super dope. Uh, Stratinum Designs has a few different versions. I have the Ghost series on here. So as you can see, depending on the angle, you can see what's on the door handle, but if you just move slightly, it'll slowly disappear, which I think is really dope. But I also have a dedicated video to that that is linked up in the card above. Next up from Handshow, we have RGB door sills. 
This is something that I, I've always wanted for the car, but they actually didn't exist until not too long ago. So when you open up the door, they light up whatever color you want. And I think it's super dope. It's obviously something to protect your car from when you get in and out, but it's just another thing that, it's another layer of customization of your Tesla and they just light up whatever color you want. And uh, those are linked down in the description below. And you also have a discount code linked down there as well. So grab those today. And again, those are from Handshow. So earlier I talked about the RGB lights that I have inside the interior of the car, but I also have the same lights in the door. So all my puddle lights are RGB. And they're also the same exact lights that are inside the car. That's the one cool thing about RPM Tesla. They were able to figure out how to make them RGB, but they're all the same lights. So that's, a, that's what it is. They're basically just RGB puddle lights inside each of the doors. So when you get out, you can make them whatever color you want. I'm all about making your car look different because Teslas can look the same. And this is just something that makes it look different from every other Tesla that is out there, especially here in California. Every time I turn, um, there's one right there. Um, every time I turn, there's a Tesla and they all look the same. So, so this is another way that I can just make my Tesla stand out in the crowd. Up next, we have jack pads. If you're ever in a situation where you need to jack up your car or you need to change the tire for whatever reason, you must have these jack pads because if not, you risk damaging your battery and you don't wanna do that. Now, Teslas have been around long enough now that I'm sure that every tire shop or repair shop has these, but if you're ever in a situation where you need to do it yourself, these jack pads will come in handy because like I said, if not, you risk damaging your battery and that's basically like damaging an engine. So get yourself these jack pads. They're not expensive. Uh, they're linked down below, grab them today. Up next, we have my hands down, my favorite absolute best accessory modification for the car from Handshow, and that's the auto frunk opener. I have a whole video dedicated for this thing. This is hands down my best favorite. It's, it's my favorite one, my favorite accessory modification for the car. I have a whole video dedicated to that. You guys can click the link above to see that. Hands down, if you can get it, get it. It's so worth it. Pancho auto front opener. Now I'm not gonna go in too much detail about every single one, but I have this kit full of cleaning products. I love to clean and wash my car. I'm obsessed. It's like my new favorite thing to do, but I'll have every single thing linked down below exactly what it is. All of them are from Chemical Guys and Hydro Silex. It's all linked down below. Like I said, I'm not gonna go in too much detail about what exactly it is, but I'll talk about them down in the description below. If you love cleaning your car, go ahead and grab some of these today. And last but definitely not least, get yourself a Karen lock. You gotta get one of these. So they're not actually called Karen locks, but they're called J177 locks. But everyone on the internet calls them Karen locks. Basically, they just stop Karens from coming up and unplugging your Tesla when you're using third party uh, Tesla chargers, when you're using chargers that aren't Teslas. Um, yeah, so if you're ever at ChargePoint or those random chargers at the mall, the grocery store, make sure you have one of these or someone may likely, most likely, will come up and unplug your car and this little thing will stop them from doing that. Get this today. Anti-Karen lock. <laughs> so those are all the accessories, every single modification I have to my Tesla Model Y. In 2023, if you're picking up a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y, congratulations. Welcome to the good side. Welcome to the light side. Welcome to this new life of Tesla ownership. It's the best. We absolutely love having this car. It's just fun, you know, just adding new accessories, modifications. It's basically like a an adult's toy. And you're going to continuously just get deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole of wanting to add something new. And um, I hope that some of these accessories and modifications helped you out, inspired you, and you, you found something new that you want to add to your vehicle. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you guys hit those two playlists. We have all the accessory playlists, all the modification playlists as well. And make sure you guys follow us over on Instagram where we post high quality reels, high quality photos. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy it, make sure you guys hit those playlists right there. So we catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace. <laughs> See you guys.